Hello, this is Rick and thanks for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be Excel 2013 tutorial number three and what we're going to talk about today is your file save options and specifically we're going to go in and save the basic spreadsheet that we, that we created in tutorial number two. I wanted to point out all of these tutorials will be posted on my website which is www.10minutetrain.com and also here's some other links that, that uh, you may be interested in and then the final comment that I wanted to make is all these tutorials will always be posted for free so if you're getting charged for them from somebody um, please let me know and I'll see if I can send them an email because that should not be the case so jumping over here to the spreadsheet this is the spreadsheet that we created in tutorial number two and we went through you know how to how to set up basic formulas and some basic formatting and things like that so now um, you need to save your document. So how you do that is you click the file button here and if it's the very first time, in this case we're going to go over here, you see it's not named, it's book one which is the generic name, so I'm going to say file and I'm going to save as. Now you can browse over here and browse and put it anywhere on your computer that you'd like to or on a network drive or over here you've got the uh, SkyDrive um, connectivity which is the cloud storage for Microsoft. Uh, but in this case, we'll, I'm going to put it in this folder here, which is my Excel 2013 folder. And I'm going to click in there, and I'm going to go ahead and call this, uh, I'm going to give it a name, I'm going to call it Excel 2013-2 Basic Spreadsheet. Okay? Then, um, you'll see down here, the default is probably going to show up as save as type .xlsx that's the default Excel 2013 file type there is some scenarios where you'd want to change this so for right now you're probably just going to save it as that but if you click the pull down over here you'll see you get lots of options if this were a macro enabled workbook and we'll cover macros later you would save it as an XLSM file you can't save macros in an XLSX file um, if this were an, if you wanted to send this to someone who ran a very old version of Excel, like Excel 2003 as an example, you'd have to save it in this format as a star.xls. Or if you wanted to save it as a web page, you could save it here and make it a .html file, or a text file here, or a common delimited file here. So those are some examples, but in this case what we're going to do, we're just going to save it as the default, you give it a name, and you click save. Now if you go in and make some changes and you're already saved in the location and you've got the file name up here you can go ahead and just click the save button here or go file save. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and do that and now it's going to bring me back here. If you don't know what this is, this is the quick access toolbar. You might want to go back to the tutorial number one where I talk about the ribbon um, and the quick access toolbar. So that's all I wanted to share with you in this tutorial and we'll come back with tutorial number four with some additional information and I'm going to continue the tutorials to move into more advanced topics. So thanks for joining and please subscribe. Take care. Bye.